So what is your experience with people like Ramanujan? Where is, like, what is your words on him? <coughs> Ramanujan, certainly I was born in Kerala. I was studying college mathematics and all that. Physics, I was in the first group. Then I started reading the existential writers, Saad, Kafka, Kamu and all that. <laughs> you know that. All of them were reading. <coughs> De-schooling and all that uh, things came in, at that time. <coughs> so, uh, like Kafka, one day one man gets metamorphosized to an insect. And uh, Saad knows they have one man is sitting in the garden, suddenly the stone. He feels nausea and throws away. So he asks, there is na name the stone. When I forget the name, I am looking at it. La name the culture I'm bring by how I brought up. Then he sees the roots growing under the and all that. Then at the end, he's he has gone to rock and in his name he has gone to that village to study raw living a kind of petty bourgeois. So he's looking at that old masters like portrait, doing research. One day he listens to a negress singing. Um, in the <coughs> then he thought I must leave. What I am pursuing is superficial, and he leaves. So there was some kind of existential need, uh, and uh, come you uh, ask. Like the Sisyphus, I told you, the throwing the stones. Uh, come you was certainly influenced by Nietzsche a lot. He, because the German philosophy was influenced by Schopenhauer, they reached to reach almost Buddhism, void. So Nietzsche asked, we must make purpose out of void, then void of purpose. So the blind man is mytho Sisyphus, myth is, is Sisyphus is pushing up the boulder and throwing it down. The moment he is blind, the moment the stone falls, he has the vision of whole landscape. It's again met metaphorically also. So he says, we have no right to commit suicide. And in rebel, he he is taking out murder. So in, in Heathcliff, uh, Heathcliff in uh, Bro Emil Brontes, Wuthering Heights, I would ca kill, kill Kathy for anybody. Says this man says, we have no right to kill the other. <laughs> then there are several heroes like Marcus Tissa, da da da. You know, all these things and time was so intense also, all these serious experimental filmmakers, you were thinking about Rithik Katak, all those things. That was the time I reached. Somehow, you know, I wrote, I was go, going to study commercial art and reached here. And I, had, I did have training under Baal and I marched in Kerala and slipped off. Then who is your hero here? Alfonso in his tie and gloves painting <laughs> and all the girls around him. Ramaj is painting all the girls in dream. There was a banyan tree and Kunjiram made a Ganesha like this. Ramaj always said that whenever I got little bit money, 150 rupees or 200 from home, I gave him some 25 rupees. Sometimes he came to my class and Alfonso said, don't get him in. Uh, Alfonso is a teacher. Alfonso and Shanmugal Sundara. Uh, he drank, died also, Shanmugal Sundara. So, uh, Ramanuj was in the design center. And so, I thought he was the greatest teacher. Then he left and came here. And he told Panika and all that, there's somebody called Dakach there. <laughs> uh, then I came here and met him. He was quite successful. People were here, certainly, the general. Uh, the then on one summer vacation, I went, I went home, I heard that he committed suicide. He wanted, badly he wanted to marry. So he went to palmistry, hundreds of notebooks with this palm print and all that, studying, studying, studying. People laughed at him, but he was very intelligent, playing chess. He could beat anybody, playing chess. Then sometimes he would be standing like this. And sometimes they send me and Ramanujan to buy arak, so and we keep walking. But he's always looking at this palmara thing and the wind through the palmara, silent. Then to come back, chamna cigarettes. Then all this bump, they will see bump this, what is this? Gopi, Hari, and all that. Mm -hmm. Then <coughs> they tease and they go to Panika, sir, the Panika will come and shout at him. You heard that story about Ramanujan reading his poems? 
Vamsa Devi used to bring there was a, a poet called Partha Sarathi. He migrated to Canada also, writing English. And Ramanujam, the poet, who love and poems and love and war. Vamsa Devi used to bring all of them. Ramanujam saw this. Ramanujam wrote some poems. All the artists laughed. Then uh, they all said, "I was I was still a student." So once in weekends I came. Uh, we need water and tea and all that. I went said yes. He spent his own money, got everything arranged. All artists drank water tea before reciting Ramanujan's poem. They all left, except Panika. Panika sat through the whole his. He gave over the nod. All this, you know this. I go when he's drunk. Always this film song. No, 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 Because he got reached that point you know, with palmistry, then one day, maybe you know, don't know the story. <coughs> Bhaskar and all, all of them liked him a lot, Adi Mulam and all that. Wanted to marry so Bhaskar and he went to a place looking for a bride. Next next day they received the news saying that oh the bride liked the man. Next next day they <laughs> the Bhaskar and Ravan the new the bride liked Bhaskar. <laughs> Uh, oh, you know that this is Thuli in his always auction catalogs. You know he gives so much importance that sex, you know, sex and death are very close. That how no, he never received a woman. Da, 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 how he starved. So, and what was this place? Very primitive place. You know, except did Panika die before him? I don't know. Uh, he died in '73. And Ramanuj Panika '77 or so. 70s, not 70, I was 78. Eh? <coughs> There were moonlight parties, you know, discussions, alcohol, nothing. No television, no telephone. So, certainly, who was, nobody was married. Pati was married. Panika, so, yeah, not another way. So, he wanted to marry because he, there is a woman in his work all the time, right. sitting with hundreds of women. So maybe he thought. <laughs> What is it? Uh, George, George James is the one you know, who wrote always in, again it, that Richie has reproduced it, no? and Panika gave the titles for his work, and uh, all that happened. But if he felt lonely and so much possessed by his work and. It's like Eliot, you know, like Eliot writes, "Is it like this in death's other dream kingdom, waking alone when you tremble with tenderness?" So it's about really a creative artist like Ramarajan. You know, he enters the death's other dream kingdom, you know, because creativity, creation, destruction, you know, they are very close. So he enters the sight of <laughs> the death's other dream kingdom and returns. Trembling with tenderness, waking up alone. So he wanted, you know, like any other man, a woman to look after him. Maybe again, sad to think he wanted always to go and meet his mother. He could meet her, you know, uh, somewhere behind the wall. All that must have certainly. He must have thought it's over, and later, later work. No, he was a dog. He, he went to the beach and studied shells. And there was a kind of <coughs> that stage where the depersonalization could have happened to reach to another direction. He couldn't reach, so there was a, a problem with his works, works as well. Uh, so, and the woman certainly.